Oh, monkey, monkey, monkey. Look how far you've come. The Pokemon League. You must be confident that victory is right around the corner. And you're probably thinking, oh, Jumkey, since you haven't done anything in the last 10 episodes, you probably don't care if Monkey wins or loses. But you'd be wrong. You see, in the last few weeks, I've been going through a very messy divorce with my wife. But I found a new love. I don't need that tramp anymore. Cause now I know the warm embrace of this giant Snorlax beanbag. And if you think I'm gonna let you win this Nuzlocke and take my Snorlax beanbag away from me, you've got another think coming, bitch. So what I'm gonna do? I know that Monkey is probably well equipped with great Pokemon, so I'll make him lose in the only way I know how. With booze. Monkey hates nothing more in the world than taking shots of booze and vodka and other such things. So as he goes through the Elite Four, I'll make him take a shot every eight minutes. And he'll be a little pussy bitch about it. And he'll quit the Nuzlocke so that he can stop drinking. And if that doesn't work, then he'll probably get so drunk that he'll lose anyway. That's my final plan, bitch. Get fucked, you monkey bitch. Fuck you. It'll work. It'll work. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha 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 ha. All right, folks, the time has come. We're here. We're ready. We got the booze. Every eight minutes, taking a, a shot of that. <laughs> Hopefully it's enough. <laughs> Hopefully I uh, don't need more than that. And uh, we're just going to go straight through it. You might notice it's uh, very sunny and bright outside. That's because it is uh, It's almost 3 p.m., if it'll unblur. Gonna get wasted at 3 p.m. for this shit, because it's the only time I had to record this. Uh, that's enough wasting time. This episode's gonna be long. Let's, uh, let's go for it, folks. Let's go for it. Here is our Elite Four team, folks. You know them, you love them. Dougie, Butler Block, Salmon Taxi, Innervaria, Stardust Ray, and Violet Vex. I looked it up, and the champion's strongest Pokemon is level 60. So I think this is pretty fair. Uh, I, I think this is pretty fair. I got some guys who are not quite 60 yet, and then one that's um, a little bit over. So I think, you know, in, in terms of level cap and all that shit, like, this is approximately what I would be at anyway. So let's go do it, folks. Let's go do it. I don't have the confidence I had in, say, like, you know, Fire Red or Crystal, because I'd beaten those games hundreds of times before. This one, it's, it's fucking brand new to me. I've never fought this Elite Four before. Let's see if I can do it. What do you want, Kakui, you fuck? Oh, yeah, I gotta get my timer ready. Every eight minutes, gotta take a shot. And I guess as soon as I start, I'll, I'll start off with a, a complimentary shot, too. What sucks is that... A lot of my strategies, especially with, uh, especially with Violet Vex, rely on stalling and wasting a lot of time, which is not good when you have to take a shot every eight minutes. <laughs> Shut up, Kukui. I don't got time for this shit. Okay, I think I have a rough strategy for each person, but most of them ultimately just lead to Gyarados Dragon Dance. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm ready to win, buddy. I'm ready to win. That's the spirit, partner. Don't worry, you've got me. You can't lose. Yeah, let's hope that's true. Right, he's got some glowing eyes. People always say, click on the glowing eyes. I'm not just doing it because I'm stalling at this point. Oh, Roto Lotto time. Let's see what we, you know, we're, you know, we're a big spender. We're a big gamer. What are we going to land on? We land on the animal face. What does that mean? An amazing power. Roto catches. Well, I'm not catching anything else in this game, so it doesn't matter. Let's go in. Let's go in the game. Hmm. And once we start this, there's not going to be any more cuts. Even the long, boring parts where I'm just stalling and all that shit. I'll... 
I'll I'll have to say something because I can't give any impression that I could possibly be cheating. I don't even have any revives on me, folks. I don't even have one in my bag, so I couldn't do that if I wanted to. Couldn't cheat in any possible way, and you get to see it all anyway. Let's start off with a shot and then set the timer. Oh, that's a big ass shot to have at three o'clock on a Wednesday. Down the hatch we go. I hate taking shots. <coughs> what a horrible idea this is gonna be. Oh, what a horrible fucking idea. I hate taking shots. Why couldn't I just drink this beer? Oh, God, what the fuck was I thinking on that one? I guess it was Jumpkey's idea. Okay, we start the timer. Eight minutes, we gotta go! <laughs> I don't want to take more of those shots. But I think I'm gonna have a lot of them. <laughs> Fucking horrible idea. Okay, this guy, the big trouble with this guy is that I can't use the Gyarados strategy because he has a Magnet Zone that has Sturdy. So you hit it as hard as you want, it doesn't matter. It holds on with one HP, and then Thunderbolt is going to kill Gyarados in one hit. So that's why I'm going to start off with Gigalith to use um, uh, Stealth Rock, which means uh, there's no such thing as Sturdy. Stealth Rock is the ultimate Sturdy Destroyer. Hopefully that's all we got to do for this fight. Hopefully it'll be easy other than that. He starts off with Clef Key, which is only there to set up. It uses spikes and like Thunder Wave and stuff. So I don't even necessarily have to lower its stats in order to boost with Dragon Dance. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to use Dragon Dance on that. I think I will, um, I think I'll take him out with, uh, Scraggy or whatever he's fucking called. Stardust Ray. Go for the Stealth Rock. Let's see what he goes for. He starts off with Reflect, which is no big deal because I have Brick Break, so I can just chop right through that shit. Stealth Rock is set up, which means we should switch to... Well, I guess while we're here, we still have Sturdy, so let's try to do some damage if we can, maybe. Let's go for, uh, Stone Edge. Why not? We can take a hit, and he's gonna... Well, no, because if he's setting up all these spikes, I don't want Stardust Ray to get hurt. So let's see how much the Stone Edge does. Does a fair amount. Critical hit. Nice to see, Dougie. Nice to see. Let's switch to Stardust Ray, who will now be hurt by spikes, even though he probably shouldn't have been. A fuck up on my part, for sure. Yeah, 18 damage, and he throws out more spikes, so at least I, I didn't get as spiked as I could have been. Let's go for a Brick Break. Break through that Reflect. Break through that Reflect. And he has three sets of spikes out. So now whenever I switch, I'm going to get completely fucked. Completely fucked. Reflect War Off. He has Prankster, so if he wants to use another Reflect, he can. Let's, let's assume he's going to go for something like that and hope that a Focus Punch is enough to finish him off. Go for Focus Punch. Charging up. Hopefully he doesn't hit me with his one move. Yep, he goes for Reflect. Which I guess means Focus Punch will do less damage than it would have. But maybe it'll be enough to finish him off. Nope, not quite. Which means he is now going for... He's going for... Uh, he's going to boost his... He's going to use a potion. So let's go for Brick Break to break through the Reflect. Yep, there's that potion. That means now we get to use a potion, folks. I love it when we can use a potion. We got him in the red on purpose. It was all part of the strategy so that we could use a potion. And we got a critical hit. Let's go for Brick Break again. Because, uh, oh yeah, Reflect. I gotta assume he's always going for Reflect now that there's three spikes. So I'll just keep Brick Breaking through that shit. Reflect War off. One more should do it, maybe? He goes for Flash Cannon, so it's a good thing we didn't go for Focus Punch. How much is this gonna do? About 40. About 40. Brick Break, finish him off. Yeah, okay, and the Moxie will give us an attack boost, which we desperately need. Desperately need. What are you sending out next? Can we take on your next guy? Metagross. Metagross, we can beat with Black Hole Sun if we're faster. Um, but he can't use any of his Zen Headbutts or anything. So I don't know what attack he would be going for that could finish me off. So let's try to kill him in one hit with a Black Hole Sun. Go for it. And it looks like we're faster, folks. Will this be enough to beat Metagross in one hit? I sure hope so. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? Wash the rain away. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? 
Won't you come? Black hole sun. Yeah, Metagross is down for the count. Maybe it was because of the Stealth Rocks. I don't know. Moxie gives me an attack stat of plus two. And we go up to level 59. Go up to level 59. Any, who's he going to send out now? Anavaria goes up to 58. Goes for Doug Trio, which is definitely faster than me. Probably going for an Earthquake to finish off Stardust Ray, which means we can go to Butler Block. Because this Doug Trio, I think the only attack he has that can hurt Butler Block is the, um, either Iron Head or Sucker Punch. So this will be a good opportunity to charge up. Well, actually, yeah, 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 this, this is where we charge up. Because then we can sweep the last three Pokemon, including that motherfucking Magnezone. So let's get off as many Dragon Dances as we can. And he's trying for Sucker Punch, which means nothing happens. Sucker Punch only hits me if I was going for an actual attack, which I wasn't. If we can just trick him into using Sucker Punch four times, we win. Sucker Punch again, Dragon Dance up. Because I really want to get this Dragon Dance powerful to knock out this Magnezone. Because if that thing survives my attack, I'm done for. He gets Thunderbolt and the whole fucking playthrough is done. Three Dragon Dances. Let's go for one more. One more. There's, uh, there's five people I have to fight, so that means each person can get four Dragon Dances before I run out of PP. Although I do have some PP healing um, items. And I think that's it. He's going to hit me with a Sucker Punch here, but we will finish him off with an easy Aqua Tail. How much will this do? Uh, about 31. Or I guess exactly 31. Knock his ass out. Yep! Tangling hair lowers my speed, which is not a problem because I still have plus three speed. He's going to go for Magnezone because he thinks he's going to get the easy Thunderbolt off on me. But I got those Stealth Rocks out there, which means unless I miss, Magnezone is dead in one hit. No more sturdy for you, my friend. No more sturdy. Aqua Tail, please don't fucking miss. Please, for the fucking love of God, don't miss. Okay, we got him. Magnezone was my big worry of this whole fucking Elite Four, and now he's done. We, we broke through that sturdy with the Stealth Rock, and now he's down to his last guy. We might beat this guy before taking another shot. Bisharp, or is it Bisharp? I know I'm Bi, and he's sharp. That's all I gotta say. Let's finish him off with an Aqua Tail. Why not? Yeah, you're done for. One guy down, I guess four to go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looks like I got about another minute and 20 seconds before my next awful shot that I don't want to take. <clears throat> Boy, howdy. Okay, one down. That was the guy I was worried about. Who do we have next? Olivia, who uses rocks. I guess I can go to these in any order, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I'm not planning on anybody dying in any of them. So it should be the same fight regardless. Let's heal everybody up real quick. And I don't even really have time to remember my strategy. Because I don't want to take that many shots. And see, Olivia starts off with Armaldo. Who's a bug rock. Does anybody have Sturdy on your team? It doesn't say on this website that I'm looking at. But I have to assume somebody has Sturdy. And I don't want to get hit with a big rock move to kill Gyarados in one hit. So I definitely want to use Stealth Rocks to protect against Sturdy. Definitely want to do that. Ugh. God, it's too fast-paced. I can't even, like, calm down and think. Which is going to be a problem with all these fucking shots I'm taking. 20 seconds left. I'm going to pour my next shot and get it ready for me. For myself. Okay, pour that shot. Ugh, god damn it. Fuck. Okay, 10 seconds. If I could do each one of these in 8 minutes, that's only, like, 5 shots. I'm going to fucking bomb. I fought you before, Olivia. Um, let's see, you have Crush Claw, X Scizor, Rock Blast. Yeah, there goes the timer. Restart. No, don't start yet. I gotta, I gotta take this shot first. Mm, bottoms up. I really don't want to take this shot. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Try not to throw up in my own mouth, folks. I had a bad experience with UV blue not, not too long ago. <laughs> my body... <clears throat> my body is not responding to it. Uh, it's actually really hurting my stomach. I think I should drink something else. Besides UV blue. I'm getting up. You know, like when you overdrink on something and then you vomit it up? And then your body no longer wants to ingest it ever again? I had uh, I had one of those with UV blue not too long ago. 
I should have picked a different drink because it's making me fucking sick. It's making me fucking sick. I'm going to, you know what? I am going to cut something out. I'm going to run downstairs and find a drink that doesn't make me fucking sick to my stomach. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with a, a big bottle of Southern Comfort, which if you remember from an episode of the Isma podcast, I one time uh, got so drunk on Southern Comfort that I spent the night vomiting. But it's been long enough that it shouldn't bother me anymore. God damn it. I don't feel good. With, I don't feel fucking good. Reset the timer and let's go for it. Let's go for it, Olivia. Oh, God. That UV blue is not settling in my stomach very well. <laughs> My muscle memory is saying, hey, I remember this shit. It made you sick to the bone. It made you fucking sick. All right, Mumkey versus Elite Four Olivia in his second trial to glory. Second out of five. Starts off with old Armando, who really should not have any attacks that are very good against my boy Dougie here. So we should get off this stealth rock no problem, especially since I have sturdy myself. X scissor does how much? Doesn't even do over half. Doesn't even do over half. Now, since he's part bug, my rock attacks should be super effective, right? Let's go for a stone edge again. Why not? X scissor should not, even if it's a crit, it shouldn't get me. Oh my god, it was a crit, but it didn't get me. Fucking. And Armaldo is down in one hit, which is nice to see. One down, four to go. Way to go, Dougie. You're pretty good at knocking shit out, aren't you? Who you going for, bitch? Who, who the fuck? You going for Cradley? Okay, this is the grass one, which has Rock Tomb, Energy Ball, and Stealth Rock. Um, mm, I want to lower your attack. I want to lower your attack. So let's go to... Let's go to Sam and Taxi, who will not really care about your attacks. Maybe we can Thunder Wave you and hit you with a couple baby doll eyes. You might be going for Stealth Rock, which is, uh, which is fair, because that's what I did to you. No, you went for Energy Ball to finish me off. And that does about 50, it looks like. We will Thunder Wave your ass. Once we get you super low in, in attack stat, then we can switch and start dragon dancing up to sweep the whole team. How's that sound? Rock Tomb to do about 30. I, th I think your energy ball was more effective, actually. Let's go for baby doll eyes. Does not matter that you lowered my speed, because baby doll eyes always goes first. Go for it. Lower that attack stat, because his rock moves... Oh, shit. That, that was not the timer. That was something else. Uh, your rock moves will be super effective against Gyarados, so we gotta get your attack stat as low as possible. As low as humanly possible. Rock Tomb to do how much? Oh, okay, only like 18 that time. So clearly the the baby doll eyes is working. I think we'll do one more baby doll eyes if we're comfortable with it, and then when we switch in and intimidate him, that'll uh, that'll lower his attack stat even more. So one last baby doll eyes to make sure this cradle is fucked. Maybe he'll actually be paralyzed because I don't think he's been paralyzed yet. Nope, of course not. Okay, we're getting into critical hit uh, bullshit territory, so let's switch to Butler Block. We got one of their guys down, they've got two of ours within uh, KO range, and now we're going to Butler Block for hopefully the sweep. Hopefully the sweep. Fucking did a lot of damage with that stealth rock, but we'll get it back. Energy Ball should not do very much to Butler Block. Oh, wow, critical hit, you lucky piece of fucking garbage. Fucking piece of garbage critical hit. Go for the dragon dance. Fuck you. That's such fucking horseshit critical hit bullshit. Rock Tomb for how much? For like 30. Lower my speed. Not that it really matters because I'm dragon dancing anyway. Fuck you. Fuck you. Come, be fucking paralyzed. Be paralyzed instead of getting crits on me. How would that fucking sound? Come on. Paralyze. Good. Good. We'll heal up a little bit more. We'll do one more dragon dance. Three dragon dances should be good because we're super effective against them. So we can finish them all off, hopefully, without missing. Because if we miss, I think we're dead again. Because he got that fucking crit. And we're so low in health. Here comes Energy Ball again to do how much? 40. So we could take another energy ball, but hopefully we don't have to. Cradley should be dead from a an ice fang. Go for it. 
Go for the Ice Fang to finish off Cradley. All right, we're in sweeping position, folks. We just have to hope we don't fuck it up. And we have to hope we don't somehow fuck it up. What's he going for next? Butler Block goes up to, wow, plus four attack. Pretty nice, level 60. I'm not looking forward to drinking that Southern Comfort either. Taking shots is horrible. Gigalith. Gigalith might be the one that had Sturdy, but not anymore, because you just got... Oh, no, he has Sandstream. Somebody has Sturdy on this team. I'm just not sure who. Sandstream is not that great. Thankfully, I have the leftovers. Um, he's probably going for, I guess, like Stone Edge or something. So we just have to knock him out in one hit with Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail, please don't fucking miss. Go for it. Hey, we got him. He should be dead. He should be dead. Yep, one hit KO. What's that, three down, two to go? Three down, two to go. Sam and Taxi goes up to 60. That's what I like to see. We take 12 damage, but then heal up probably, what, 12 damage? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Lycanroc, that's your, uh, you got your Z power on that guy. So we, they're probably going for the Z power to finish me off, which means I just need to be faster and hit him. Just need to be faster and hit him. So let's go for the Aqua Tail. Please don't fucking miss. Okay, we got him. Lycanroc should be down for the count. Four down, one to go. I think you got Probo Pass, which is probably your Sturdy user. So Sturdy is uh, no more. No Sturdy for you. We just have to fucking not miss. That's all we got to do to win is not miss. Butler Block, finish him off with Aqua Tail, please. Okay, two Elite Four people down. He should be fucking dead. Yep, that's what I thought. Two down. The Butler Block strategy wins again, folks. Two Elite Four members down. Who do we got next? We got Acerola who uses Ghosts, which will not be not be too good for her when all of my Pokemon pretty much have Crunch, plus uh, 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 Stardust Ray is Dark type, so that'll be fun for you too. Let's heal up real quick, and we got about a minute 20 on the timer again. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking vom. I should have got a vom bucket, but I didn't. Oh, I'm having a rough time today, folks. I was gonna say boys, but I know there's at least one girl watching at home waiting for me to vom. Um, Banad is our first Pokemon, and it has physical moves, which is fine. I guess we could go for... I guess we could go for Dougie on that one. We could uh, start off with Dougie again to get the Stealth Rocks off and then do the same old strategy of lowering its attack since it uses physical moves. And then, uh, you know, do the Gyarados Crunch attack again. We'll just do the same thing again, because why not? You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Speaking of things that are broke, I'm about to to break my fucking mouth with vom.com, if, if, if you know what I'm saying. You think, oh, monkey, two shots in, you're already gonna vom? What are you, a fucking pussy? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Long-time monkey fans know I hate taking shots. <laughs> it's my least favorite thing. I want to mix this sh shit up with some uh, cherry Coke and, and slowly sip it all night. Taking a straight-up shot of it is just not good. Let's go Acerola! Acerola Macarona Fergona. I'm gonna get Pona, and that's my shot timer. Yep, restart, but don't actually go. Let's pour the shot. Third trial to glory, folks, in this grand monkey finale against Acerola, bitch. Fuck, I don't want to take another shot. Okay, pour that bad boy up. Ugh, bottoms up. I gotta plug the nose. I haven't had a shot of this yet. Let's take a little sip. That's not so bad. <clears throat> okay, let's take the shot. <sighs> okay. Okay. I need to buy a smaller shot glass. <laughs> Starts off with a bonnet. Can I just fucking take shots of the beer? <laughs> this isn't even a Pokemon video anymore. It's just me getting disgusted. Go for the Stealth Rock. He up sturdy so it can't hurt you. Go for Screech. Doesn't even fucking matter. Screech me all you want. Hit me. In, you, you can't kill me in one hit, so I don't fucking care. I don't give a single goddamn fuck. I really don't. Okay, let's switch to Sam and Taxi again. 
because you can use baby doll eyes to lower this physical attacker down to nothing. And then maybe we can just sweep again with a whole bunch of crunches. How does that sound? Screech again? Oh, that's not too good. I don't like the sound of that. Because now you might knock out Sam and Taxi in one hit. Um... Uh, can we Thunder Wave this thing, or is it gonna pull some bullshit? Go for the Thunder Wave. Faint Attack. How much is that gonna do against my friend? Almost over half. Which means if he has a stronger attack, it might finish me off in one hit. Because Faint Attack is dark. So if he hits me with a Ghost Move with that Stab Bonus, it might be enough to finish my ass off. Let's, um... Let's see, Stardust Ray has no way to lower his stats. Really. We could, um... I could just go to Butler Block to intimidate it, I guess. Let's let's do that. Let's see how much it does when it attacks me. Go to Butler Block. Oh, did I reset the timer? No. Resume. My bad. Resume that timer. Intimidate. Now you use Faint Attack to do how much? Does about 30, and then I heal up a bunch. Let's, uh, let's switch again, because I want to intimidate his ass again. I really do. Let's go to... Stardust Ray probably won't hurt him too much. After the second Intimidate, that should be enough to uh, to be comfortable fighting him. Oh, wow, he, he was paralyzed anyway. That's nice. Let's go back to Butler Block to do the second Intimidate, and then we will start Dragon Dancing on up. Like I said, folks, I'm not here to, to play a flashy, cool game. I'm here to do the most bullshit combos and strategies I can think of. Screech, ooh, that's not too good. I do not want my attack or my defense to be harshly lowered, so maybe let's uh, maybe let's switch again. And my health goes all the way up, well, almost all the way back up. Let's go ahead and switch back to Stardust Ray, because I don't want to be screeched if I if I can help it. And also, we can always intimidate him again, so that's nice. Paralyze. Wow, every time I switch to Stardust Ray, he's paralyzed. How do you like that? How do you like that? Go to Butler Block for a third and hopefully final time, unless he gets off another fucking screech and gets me all scared and uncomfortable intimidate him again intimidate him again shadow claw that shouldn't do very much no all right and nope not switching pokemon and there's the drink taking over go for it. dragon dance i think three or four should be good for this one especially when we're just using bite or crunch which is super effective against the whole team Shadow Claw to do... Uh, fuck! These motherfuckers with their critical hits! I hate it! Go for Dragon Dance again! If he gets another crit, I die, but like I said, you can't plan against a crit! It just fucking happens all the time. Okay, he's paralyzed and can't move. Do I trust... Do I trust having two? Is two enough? Is two Dragon Dances enough? I have to hope so, because I, I don't trust it. Go for the crunch. Every time we kill something, we get free leftovers heal up, which is nice. So, uh, even if something takes two hits to kill with all my boosted stats, maybe my health will be high enough because I keep healing from leftovers. You gotta hope that two dragon dances is enough. We go up by 12, sends out Frostlass. Ice Ghost, which means, you know... Wow, that, that was a lot of damage from the Stealth Rock, so Crunch should be just fine. Crunch him to death. And I think Crunch is the only move I have that has perfect accuracy. Wow, that was a crit on my end, not that I needed it. So I'm not too worried about things missing like before. I think I think Crunch will be fine. And everybody goes up a level, nice to see. Healing up a bit more. Healing up 12 more. Sends out... De heal me. I've never seen this Pokemon before, I don't know what it is. But I'm not too worried about it. Let's go for a Crunch on this bad boy. Not sure what the fuck this guy's all about. Well, he's dead, folks. Well, he's dead. I think this ghost bitch will be the easiest one so far, if not for that stupid crit that got me all worked up. Got me all worked up. Here comes Palo Sand. Man, I really need to go get a bucket now, because I really feel like the next shot is going to make me fucking bomb.com. Wow, everything is super effective against Palo Sand, but we'll go for Crunch anyway. We'll go for Crunch anyway. Finish him off in one hit. Yeah, you're done. Is that your last one, or do you have one more? Well, none of these Elite Four people have used their Z-moves on me yet. Maybe I'll get away with this without anybody using a Z-move. And I, other than against Metagross, I don't think I've used my Z-moves either. I don't remember using Z-moves against the last person. 
Because who needs Z-moves when you have Dragon Dance? And uh, Drift Bloom takes a whole bunch of damage, and now it's dead from Crunch, I have to assume. Finish off this bitch. Three down, two to go, folks. Uh, aftermath damage, whatever. We've got three minutes, 50 seconds left on the timer. Third Elite Four person is down. Next one is the Flying Bitch. Oh, man. The, the girl who uses Flying Pokemon is not going to enjoy my Stealth Rock at all, I have to imagine. Maybe we can get away from the Gyarados strategy from this one, because we have Anavaria and Gigalith on our side. So we can uh, just take them down with, you know, a different type of brute force. Yeah, let's use a Hyper Potion on somebody who's 2 HP away from healing up. Okay, folks, we're doing pretty good. We haven't even had to use the Alamola Soak strategy yet, and that's like... That's almost a better strategy than using Dragon Dance, you know? So we have, like, a great strategy in reserve in case of emergency. So I'm pretty sure we've got this thing down. I think we're gonna win this shit no problem. Let's go fight this flying bitch. I don't think she has anything that can really hurt me. She starts off with Braviary, or whatever, with Crush Claw, Brave Bird, Air Slash, and Scary Face. Nothing that can really hurt Gigalith too much, if at all. So I'm not worried about that one. Nobody's died yet, and we only have two fights to go until I finish this game. Really, I'm more worried about the drinks than the battles. It seems that the true challenge here is not vomiting all over my computer. Monkey versus... What's this bitch's name? Cahill? Monkey versus Cahill! In his fourth trial to glory! Without using very many Z-moves at all! She's got a cute little mole on her face. Kind of like me, only mine's more closer to my nose, huh? More closer is what I just said. Dougie goes out to fight Braviari. Go for that stealth rock to cripple the entire fucking team. It doesn't matter how strong Brave Bird is because I have Sturdy, but it's not probably going to even do a fourth. Uh, it does about a fourth, maybe a fifth. Go for the stealth rock. That's what I like to see. Now, um, since we're just so strong, let's just go for the Stone Edge, right? Brave Bird again, not too... nothing too worrisome. Maybe the Stone Edge will finish it off and then it'll uh, switch to its Fighting Boy. Stone Edge, this should be a one-hit kill, right? Yeah, Braviary's down, one down, four to go. Probably going for Halucha to Karate Chop Dougie to death, which means I'm gonna switch, of course. Dougie, good job again. That's uh, that's two Pokemon you've slain, I think, so far in this. Mold Breaker breaks the fucking mold. Let's go to... Who does not care about your fighting moves? Let's see, you've got Flying Press, Throat Chop, Dual Chop, and Poison Jab. Poison Jab. Does uh, Anavaria want to fight this guy? How much will your fighting move do against Anavaria? Maybe I can boost my defense with Cotton Guard, and I'll be just fine. Flying Press does how much? Does about 40. Anavaria, unfortunately, does not have um, leftovers. Anavaria has, has a, a magnet. Let's use one Cotton Guard if we can get away with it. And unless we get poisoned, of course. Maybe we'll get poisoned. Does 40 damage and poisons us. Fucking great. We get off a carton, Cotton Guard to double our defense stat, but uh, it looks like Anavaria won't be staying in for very long, it turns out. So let's just kill this Halucha with a discharge like we should have done two turns ago. Throat Chop to do how much? Yeah, not too much, because I use Cotton Guard. Finish off Halucha in one hit. Yeah, you're done for. Unfortunately, Anavaria, we have to switch you out, because the poison is going to fuck you up. It's going to fuck you right up. Who are you going for? Goddamn timer. Restart. Pause. Okay. Pour the drink. <sighs> okay. I've got a cup over here that used to be full of tea. If I need a vom, I'm going to grab it. <clears throat> Bottom is up. Not gonna vom yet. Not gonna vom yet. Let's wash it down with some rolling rock. Mm. Ah! Gotta keep that vom down. Okay, gotta reset the timer and switch to Oricorio. What type of Oricorio is that? Fire? He's gonna go for a, some sort of fire move on me. 
which I think means it's time for uh, a bit of Butler Block action. Let's go to the Butler Block, because I don't give a fuck about your fire attack that's coming out. And we're going to intimidate you to lower your attack anyway. How do you like that? Revelation Dance. Yep, that's fire. Should not be very effective against me. Nope, not at all. We heal up. Maybe I should uh, just drag and dance the rest of these fuckers. Because they're all weak to Ice Fang. Well, I guess this one's not. Go for the Dragon Dance. Let's see how much Oricorio does with its, what, Feather Dance? What the fuck does that do? Slow me down? Oh, my attack harshly fell! Wow, we Wow, that's a good move! You piece of shit! Dancer. What?! What?! What the fuck is that?! What?! If I... If I use a dance attack, it automatically gets to use it? That's crazy. Go for Aqua Tail, even though my attack has been super lowered. That's fucking berserk. And he lowers my attack again. Wow. What the hell is this dance effect? That's... Okay, we knocked out Oricorio. That's pretty cool. If I use a... Such a specific fucking effect, though. If I use a dance move, it gets to use it immediately, too. Butler Block is back to full health, and you send out Mandibuzz, but I need to switch my ass right the fuck out. <laughs> Because I, I got feather danced to death. We're going to switch to, um, Violet Vex. Maybe we should go for a Violet Vex strategy, or maybe even heal up Gigalith back to back to sturdy health. Flatter, what does that do? Flatter raises my special attack, but confuses me. Well, what are you gonna do? Go for the. I guess go for the Toxic while we're here. If we can hit him. Nah, damn it, Violet Vex. Only does 25. How much are you gonna do with your fucking magic bird attack? Not very much. So really, Violet Vex can handle this just fine on his own. And you keep hurting yourself with recoil. Let's go for the Toxic again. Even if you hit yourself, Violet Vex, it's no big deal. But you got him anyway, so thank God. Never been so proud of you, Violet Vex. You didn't hit yourself in confusion. Badly poisoned. So maybe now they'll use a potion and then I can just use a potion myself. They'll probably go for a full heal. That's my guess. That's my guess. So I'm going to go for the wish. I get, um, If they're going for full heal, we might as well soak him while we're here. So let's go for the soak. Yep, full heal. And that means we can fully heal up our rock monster ourselves. Fully heal up our rock monster without using uh, Wish on it. We heal up a bit from that, and now that you're soaked, your attacks will do even less damage. Let's go back to the Toxic. Go back to the Toxic. Let's see if you use a second full heal. I don't know. Maybe you will. Maybe. Anything's possible. Flatter again to... Oh, did I snap out of confusion? I must have missed that. I was too busy worrying about my next sh fucking shot. Okay, heal up again. And, uh... Let's see, Poison's going to do a bit more. Are you going to use a full heal? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember if uh, if I had another turn in between. I'm losing my mind already, folks. Go for the wish. Go for the wish. Okay, I guess he didn't go for a full heal again, and I hit myself. Goes for Brave Bird. Oh my god, we got to get to the champion quick, because I'm losing my mind. I can feel it. And I could feel it. it does about 45 damage and we heal up again. Uh, yeah. So, while Mandibuzz is, I guess, slowly dying, let's use our one item. We, we've hardly used items during battle at all in this playthrough. How do you like that? Let's use our full restore on Dougie to guarantee our victory over here. Go for it. Oh, you used the full restores too, so that means I get to use even another item if I want to, if I so choose. That's cute. That's fun to see. Okay, Violet Vex, I wish your uh, I wish your strategy was faster because I really need to get things going. But let's go for Toxic again. Even though, yeah, you snapped out of confusion, but he missed anyway. Punishment. Punishment does about forty. Okay, we just need to get off this Toxic, Violet Vex. Come on, hit him with it. Don't fuck it up. Toxic. Okay, we got him. There's no way they're gonna use three fucking potions in one fight. That'd be horseshit. Goddamn horseshit. Brave Bird does how much? Please don't be a crit all of a sudden. Okay, f still about 49 damage. Or I guess exactly 49 damage. 
Now, while you are being slowly poisoned, I can protect. So I'll use a quick protect. Although by quick, I mean very slow. Very slow strategy. Punishment doesn't do shit to me. Heal up some more. Amanda Buzz takes some poison damage. I'm gonna use the wish. I'm gonna use Violet Vex to finish off Amanda Buzz. And then Gigalith, we can use the Z Rock move to finish off whatever her last Pokemon is. I think it's two cannon. Yeah, it's two cannon. So we can finish that off in one hit with our super rock move. Amanda Buzz takes more poison damage. I don't see another potion in sight. We'll go for protect again, and then we'll heal up from the wish. We're doing just fine, folks. We're doing way better beyond my wildest dreams. I did not think the Elite Four would be this easy. But here we are. Here we are. Healing up massive amounts of health. <clears throat> Poison does a good amount. Probably two more poisons uh, before you're done for. Let's go for another wish while we're here. Even though we don't really need it. But uh, you just gotta do something. Oh, you're gonna confuse me again. Like I give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So I just used the wish, right? Did I just use wish? I don't even fucking remember what I did. If I just used wish, okay, I did. So now we'll switch into Gigalith. Or, I mean, yeah, Dougie, even if you hit me, I'll heal up from the wish, and then and then two cannons done for. Because I'm in sturdy territory. He can't hurt me. So it's over. It's fucking over. Wow! Wowee! Three items in one fight. That's fucking crazy. Go for the rock slide against this piece of shit who uses nothing. Is that how you got to the fucking Elite Four status? By using nothing but items in battle, you goddamn cuck? Kill him with a goddamn rock slide. Wow, that didn't do anything either. What the fuck type of Pokemon is this thing? Oh, it's because I made him... I made him water type, that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. Let's, uh... Fuck! I guess keep rock sliding him. It's not super effective anymore because I made him pure water type. I always make that mistake. I always forget what I did. Okay, rock slide again. We need to finish this guy off fast because I almost have to take another shot. Almost have to take another shot. Uh, go for a stone edge. We still need to save another stone edge for the Z move. Yeah, here comes another brave bird that should that should put you into uh yeah you should be dead. And I'll send out your last Pokemon to Cannon, and I'll use my Z move on it. And it's time to take a shot. It looks like. Yeah. Restart. Pause. Okay, pour that bad boy up. <laughs> Bottoms up, boys. <laughs> this is too many. There's too many shots. The Southern Comfort is going down better than the UV Blue. But that's not saying much. That's not saying much at all. Reset that timer. Hopefully for the last time. Z-powered Stone Edge. No, we can get away with the, with the least powerful one. Let's go with the other one. Oh, he's going for his Z-move first. Wow. Is it enough? It's it's Fly EMZ. Is that enough to finish off my friend, my friend Dougie? He's really going for it. He's really going for it, and I'm not in sturdy, so so he can get me. Uh, but he doesn't. It only does 70 damage. And now I think you're done for. It's been fun. That's the first Z move that somebody's used against me today. But unfortunately for you, it won't be enough. Dougie, finish him off with a Continental Crush. Putting us up against the champion, six on six with nobody dying. Nobody dying yet. Finish his fucking ass off. It's not a black hole, son. It's something completely different. Yeah, two cannons done for. Completely done for. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go beat the uh, the champion real quick before I have to take another shot. And fuck, kill myself. Elite four is done. 
We're down to the final fight in this playthrough, folks. 30 episodes of highs and lows, thrills and chills, all leading up to this moment. A drunken monkey complains and cries about taking these horrendous shots. Let's use a full, full heal on you. Well, most of these battles, battles, we've only had to use like three people. We've never had to use a full team before. Okay, you're going to start off with Raichu, it looks like. So let's, um... Ah, oh, man, Raichu has Focus Blast. Luckily, I can survive... I can survive that thanks to Sturdy, and then get off the Stealth Rock, but is it even worth it? Is it even w worth it? Mm, I guess so. But then who do I switch to to finish this fucker off? Huh. Um... Nobody on his team has Sturdy, so maybe I don't need to use Stealth Rock. Maybe I should just... This Raichu... I have a big problem against electric Pokemon with my team. It's, it's a weakness of mine. So maybe I go for the Continental Crush right away to finish off the Raichu. And then, um... And then it's five on five, because my Gigalith will be fucked. <laughs> Pretty much. Because Raichu does not have great defense, I don't think. So I, I assume a big Continental Crush from a super high attack stat, Gigalith, should be enough to finish it off. And here comes How! How do you do, my friend? That's how you do it! It's me! It's a me, a Howio, and I'm here to fight. Let's fucking do it, you champion bitch. How pathetic is the Alolan region that the two champions are just like two ten-year-old kids? It's not like Lance or somebody who's been doing this all their life. It's people who started fucking yesterday. People who just fucking started. Here we go in his final trial to glory! Monkey Jones versus Pokemon Trainer Champion How, who starts off with his Raichu, Alolan Surf and Raichu. God, let's make this quick, because I'm tired of taking fucking shots, and I'm tired of this goddamn playthrough. Uh, no time for the Stealth Rock, baby. We're going for the Z Continental Crush, which does, I think, 195 damage. Fucking click. Uh, I was trying to click it with my thumb, but it wasn't going. Focus Blast, I saw that coming a mile away. Will not knock me out in one hit because I have Sturdy, so nice fucking try. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that anyway. Continental Crush, is this enough to take out Raichu? I sure fucking hope so. Should I have saved a Z-move for later? Probably not, because I don't need to, because Gyarados does not have a Z-move on it, and I'm hoping he can take care of the whole team. So this is the best time in my mind to go for the Z-move. Let's hope that it actually works and knocks this fucker out in one hit. Get out of my face, Raichu! Yep! You're done! No more threat to Gyarados, as far as I can tell. Dougie almost goes up to 61. Goes for Tauros. Goes for Tauros, which has Intimidate. Not that I really care. Tauros has Zen Headbutt, Iron Head, Earthquake, and Double Edge. He's probably going for Earthquake. So we can go to Butler Block for an easy Intimidate. So let's do that. Let's go lower his attack stat and probably evade his attack if he's going for Earthquake because it's super effective. Intimidate his ass. Go for it. Goes for Earthquake. Yep, I saw that coming a mile away. Now we can switch to Baby Doll Eyes. Boy, my best friend, Mr. Salmon Taxi. Tauros, you're the one who I'm going to lower the attack stat of so I can drag and dance on up and win this game. Double Edge. Ooh, how much will that do? Doesn't do over half, which is fine by me. Let's start off with a Thunder Wave. Double Edge again. Yeah, he sure is a fast bugger, isn't he? God, that does a lot. Even if I use Baby Doll Eyes, I'm not convinced that Sam and Taxi can survive another hit. Not that he needs to, though. This is the last fight, so he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to survive. Go for Baby Doll Eyes. Either he's gonna, either we're gonna win or he's gonna die anyway, right, folks? Go for the baby doll eyes. Will Double Edge finish off Sam and Taxi? No, he's, he holds on anyway. He holds on anyway. Do I want to let him live just out of sentimentality? Or do I want to be a brutal dictator and let him die for the cause? I think we're gonna let him die for the cause, folks? Go for baby doll eyes in a sacrificial lamb. Sam and Taxi, it's been fun, but not everybody. You, you're still a, oh. Oh, you know what? You know what? If you survive two turns in a row, I'll let you live. I want to have bragging rights and say I won without anybody dying. So you know what, Sam and Taxi? You earned it. Let's go to Butler Block for a, another Intimidate. I think this is the fourth or fifth attack lower. I can't be bothered to remember at this point. 
Double-edged, how much is that going to do against Butler Block? Still does about 40. But we heal up. It's time to Dragon Dance, folks. This should be the last round of Dragon Dances I ever have to do. Go for it. Let's go for three or four, whatever we're more comfortable with. I should only have to take one more shot of the Southern Comfort, which is very comforting to hear. Hey, and he's paralyzed, and we get to heal up more. I think we've got this in the bag, folks. Although Primarina, being a water fairy, we don't have any attacks that are effective against it. So that might be a problem. Which is why maybe we should use uh, six dragon dances to just use... Oh, wow, it's paralyzed again. Maybe we will. We're two dragon dances down. Maybe we should boost our attack as high as humanly possible. Just to knock out Primarina in one hit. Since it resists all of Gyarados' attacks. I got three dragon dances off. Paralyzed again. Wow, you're just begging me to keep dragon dancing. That was the most cost-effective Thunder Wave in the history of Pokemon, I think. What are the chances? Three times in a row. We got four dragon dances up. And now he gets his double edge, which is fine. Gets 42 damage on me. Let's go for another Dragon Dance, folks, and another shot's coming, but it's going to be the last one if I have anything to say about it. For better or worse, it's the last one, because I'm either going to fucking die or win. Double edge again. Double edge again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go for the kill. Go for that crunch. We've got five Dragon Dances up. If that's not enough, then I don't know what it is. Tauros is down for the count. Let's two down, four to go, folks. Four more Pokemon. Four Pokemon stand between me and Nuzlocke Glory. Restart that timer, although hopefully I don't have to use it again. And a very goes up to 60 for that hopefully final shot. Crabominable. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> Bottoms up. <coughs> Stay down. Stay down. Gotta get the rest of it. <sighs> I fucking hate it. I so fucking hate it. Okay. Resume that timer, boys. Ah, uh, Crabominable is, um... Fighting and ice, so I think it resists all my attacks as well. So let's go for the stab boosted Aqua Tail. Go for it. And it's enough. Oh, I guess it, it didn't resist it. I guess ice doesn't resist water. I always fuck that up. Three more, baby! Three more Pokemon to sweep, and we win this Nuzlocke. Butler Block, you're a goddamn hero. And here's Primarina. Fucking great. It's gonna use... Well, I guess it's Z-move is water, so Butler Block can resist that pretty well. Let's go for the stab move Aqua Tail, since everything is pretty much equally resisted. How much does this do? Oh, almost enough! Moonblast is coming. How much will that do? Ooh... Yeah, that's not too good. Luckily, I'm faster, and he's just gonna keep using potions, so I think that means I win unless I miss. Unless I miss... Ah, oh, fuck. Go for a, a crunch, because he's going to heal up this turn anyway. Yeah, full restore. That means now we get to use an item too, folks, which pretty much seals his fate. The last thing he wants is giving me item ability. Okay, Aqua Tail is known to miss, so we're just going to keep going for the crunch. We're just going to crunch his ass to death. Yeah, you're done, Primarina. No more Z-moves in this fucking game! All out of Z-moves! You're never gonna see a Z-move again! No more Come On and Slam, no more Black Hole Sun, no more Continental Crush, nothing. It's over. Two Pokemon left in this epic sweep that you probably saw coming a mile away because it's fucking Dragon Dance Gyarados. Ooh! Noivern, you're not gonna like an Ice Fang, are ya? Unless I miss. Go for it, and he's done. One Pokemon left. Yep, you're dead. No more shots! I'm gonna turn off the timer, folks! Because after I beat this Pokemon, the Nuzlocke is over. It's fucking over. Flareon! Uh-oh! Oh, I really don't like Flareon's chances of sweeping my team. I really don't like it. Aqua Tail to finish him off. Yep, it's been fun, folks! It's been fun! But Monkey just won the Ultra Sun Nuzlocke, unless there's some sort of super champion that I don't know about. 
Wowie! Wow! Only had to get wasted at 3.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking vomit. Wow. After all those highs and lows, we had a full team wipeout. By monkey standards, I lost this Nuzlocke. But by the, by the rules of this Nuzlocke, we came back and we won. All thanks to you, Mumkey, and your Gigalith. You're goddamn right it was thanks to Gigalith. And his Stone Edge, or Stone... Uh... Stealth Rock. <laughs> yeah! First ever champion of the Alola Pokemon region! Let's record our fucking heroes. All six of you did what you needed to do. There were no stragglers. There were no useless Pokemon. All six of you are fucking champions in your own right. Doggy, level 61 Gigalith. Butler Block, level 62 Gyarados. Sam and Taxi, level 61 Dogsaurus. Inaveria, level 60 Ampharos. Stardust Ray, level 61 Sc Scragdong. Uh, Violet Vex, level 64 Alamola. Wow, that thing levels up pretty quick, doesn't it? Hey, we are the champions, my friend. Nobody died. I tried to sacrifice Sam and Taxi two turns in a row. He refused to die. He's a natural born champion, folks. Natural born champion. Yeah, you dance, you ugly, hideous fuck, dressed in the dumbest outfit available in the game. You fucking dance and celebrate and shit. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we won. I don't know if there's anything else worth showing here. I mean, that, that's what you came to see was the champion fight. So I guess now let's cut to whatever final cutscene with me and Jumpkey is that I haven't planned yet that I'll probably film a week from today. <laughs> it's been fun, folks. Thanks for coming with me on yet another Nuzlocke journey. Yeah! I did it! I won the Nuzlocke, Junkie! That means that Snorlax and Growly are free! You have to, you have to change them back into their original forms, you fuck! No! It's not fair! This Snorlax beanbag is the only love I have left in my life! Monkey, wait! I've... Become accustomed to being this large size and having people sit on me. And I've discovered that I love Junky too. Please don't make him change me back. I want to stay like this forever. I've never been so happy. Oh, okay. I guess that's fine. But what about Growly? Who fucking cares? That's a pretty good point. Hey, what the fuck? This is fucking horse shit. So, does this mean you'll go back to planning your mass shooting retribution thing or whatever? The retribution stuff is only on the main channel. All the stuff that happens here on the gaming channel isn't canon to that shit. It's like its own story or whatever. It's not the same shit. It's different. Like, I'm still Jumpkey, but the one on the main channel is, is a different storyline. It does not tie... Every fucking thing doesn't tie in with everything. Sometimes different stories could happen at the same time. Oh, well, I'm still confused about that uh, because I'm literally retarded and I don't understand how that sort of thing would work because I'm fucking 12 years old and it doesn't make sense to my middle school mind. But if you say so, Jumpkey, hey, that's another Nuzlocke down the drain, folks. We kind of did it, sort of. Why am I just wearing a brown long sleeve shirt? That's the big question. <laughs> we'll see you next time with Imagine Babies, folks. Can you imagine babies? I can't. I sure as hell can't. Ooh.